Today we're going to be doing a walk around and test drive on this 1966 Mustang convertible. This car's a sleeper. You know, when you're looking at it, it looks like an old grandma car. Um, but as we go around the car and, and look at what's been done to this, um, whoever's sitting next to you at the red light, I'm in, got a surprise coming for him. Yeah, the only thing about the sleeper effect, and I'll, we'll go right to this right now. I don't think the guy's going to be sleeping when he hit the, when he hit the damn uh, coffee on this thing. Sounds pretty weird. You'll have to You'll have to shut it off at the red light. If you're gonna fool him. Not to uh not to kind of but I don't know if anyone's gonna be sleeping at the red light on this <laughs> Looks can be deceiving. Yeah, pretty cool car. So the kind of neat story with this car, um, the previous owner bought it a couple of years ago. Bought it actually like 45 miles from our dealership here from a private individual. Uh, it was a six cylinder automatic car. Uh, he was on his way home on the interstate and that poor old six cylinder kind of let go. So he had it uh, towed into a shop, left the original paint and interior and all that stuff alone, um, but went absolutely crazy and just, just spent a ton of money on it. Uh, he had told me that approximately like fifty to fifty nine thousand dollars was spent on the drivetrain of this car, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. I mean, it really is kind of crazy, unfortunately. But uh, I guess it just kind of tells you what was done and and how it was done. Yep. So, and like I said, he spent a lot of money, did a lot of nice upgrades, uh, such as vintage air, four wheel Woolwood disc brakes, power steering. You know, things a ton of fun to drive, not to mention... Power brakes, yeah. um, new Holly carburetor. I mean, this thing's aluminum radiator, electric fan, and a blueprint engine. So 375 horse is, I think I took a picture of the uh, dyno sheet, and it's on our website. So about 374, 375 horsepower. Uh, this car produces beautiful dual exhaust mm -hmm. and just a really solid original car. Yep. And as we go around it, you know, you look at the, the inner fenders, um, you know, and... As I went around this car a few times, it appears like it's, you know, largely original metal, you know, extremely solid. Original paint still on the firewall there, too. So, yep. yeah, very, very solid car. Still has its original numbers right back in there on the top. So, nice original car. They left all the, the original patina on the car. Yep. So, if you go look at it, yeah, the paint, guys, we're just going to say it straight up. It's got some little dings. It's got paint imperfections, but solid. Yep. Like I said, the beauty of this one is if someone wants to make a show car out of it, they can paint it whatever color they want. They got a really solid original body um, and, you know, hell of a drivetrain. Yeah. The, as far as, you know, you got solvent pop kind of all over here on the top of the hood. We're not going to point all that out. Just from 30, 40, 50 year old paint scratches. Uh, but the gaps and stuff and the solidness is what we're going to kind of just try to focus on today. Back side of the hood lines up awesome. Gaps nice right down here. Lower fender is excellent. Tiny little ding and scratch right there. But uh, the bottom of the door is just awesome all the way from front to back. Lines up nice against the quarter panel. Again, as we look up and down the side, the car buffed out pretty well. I mean, it's got a really nice uh, paint shine to it. Dual exhaust, current tips are excellent. We'll kind of check out the trunk here in just a little bit and uh, I'll show you how nice the inner fenders are. These doors open and close beautifully. 100% original paint in the door jams. And original interior. I mean, they didn't even change, I don't even think, they didn't even change out the carpet. So it's got the original carpet with a little fade and just a little bit of a fluff to it, I call it. The original council was a council car. Uh, it's got uh, some little scuffs on the console. The dash pad is perfect. They did go ahead and put an AM, FM, digital auto uh, sound radio in it. Works great. Aftermarket tachometer, 73,454 original miles. Looks like uh, we have a subwoofer here in the trunk. Check out this. This is what I was point wanted to point out, Dalton. Look at the paint quality on the inner fender still and the original quarters. Huh? Yeah. Pretty oh big. my gosh. Trunk floor all throughout here. That's why I said survivor rust free inners. Where do you see a convertible with inner fenders like that? All original quarters. Bottom of the trunk lid. 
Now, obviously, somebody did repaint it at one time here because you have the original rubber that's hard as a rock. Yeah. Seriously, touch that, baby. Yep. Can't even move it. And that's got some overspray in it. Um, but the trunk jam here, is, this is all original. Another thing, the trunk lid uh, really fits pretty good as well. Across the top here, again, here's that, that old paint with that little rough solvent pop there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take that boot off. The boot is the original boot, so the snaps and stuff are, it's got some issues, but the nice thing is it goes on and off easy. The nice thing is you can get one pretty easy at CJ Pony. 125 parts. bucks. Yeah. Are you throwing CJ Pony parts a little bone yeah. area? They will get a sponsorship. All right, as far as the uh, top to bottom, again, gap's really nice, quarter to the door fits great. You got some paint chips here and a lot of paint chips right in here. But what I like is, look at that Dalton, that's bare metal. See that? Yeah, yeah like I said, if a guy wanted to repaint it, you know, you could paint this car black. Oh, you know, it's a great car. And this is another thing I always want to point out. So many people are like, man, I buy it, but I don't have a power top. Did you guys just see how easy, like two fingers, yeah. take it back down again, will you? And you're not gonna have problems with, you know, Unless you break your arm, you know, the top is gonna go up and down. <laughs> Just super easy, go back up. One side, very nice and easy. We'll, we'll go ahead and uh, um, button that up. It does have the uh, plastic back window, wheel well trim, brand new American Racing chrome rims. They're 17 inch wheels, I think. Let me see here. Pretty sure they are, they look like 17s. Um, yeah, 17 inch, uh, they're two, See, 275 40s. Uh, Will Woods all the way around. Suspension's new. A couple little paint chips along the edges, but really in all, you know, at 10, 15 foot, this car looks awesome, doesn't it? It is. Again, driver's door opens and shuts beautifully. Uh, the stitching's coming loose here on the driver's side seat. Other than that, the seats front and back are in good shape. Original steering wheel, 100% original paint in these door jams. Um, we could have easily got this car in. Uh, we're gonna price this at 35.9, I think. Mm -hmm. yep. And uh, we could have, you know, we got it, we thought, you know what, we could spend a thousand bucks on the interior, throw some little new interior in it, spend three, four grand on the paint, paint it black, you'd have yourself a sweet convertible. Yep. Uh, but, you know, then what, 50, 55 grand? We figured we'd sell it the way it is, let Someone, the next guy do Someone's it. gonna be real happy that the, it's got real old paint on it, because that means, you know, if it had real nice paint, you wouldn't get it bought for, for that. Exactly. And we're also working on trying to get all those receipts of the money spent yep. as well. So we tried to talk to the previous owner on that. So guys, I don't think this car will last very long. It's solid. It's had a ton of money spent on it. And uh, it's got a great stance too. How many convertibles do you see that just have that perfect level stance? What, what do you think, think about it, Murph? What do you think, Murph? There's our shop dog, Murph. He likes it. All right, we're gonna take it for a spin. As we sit here going through uh, this 1966 Mustang convertible, um, it does have the one speed wipers and they work perfect. It's got vintage air conditioning, Mustang AM FM radio. Nice stereo. Yeah, we would have suffered to his brain, so he woke up screaming at his And there is a receipt on their website from an audio sound. I think it was like 1400 bucks for the radio speaker system and everything. So um, it's got the little six, the little uh, six inches up here in the kick panels as well. Um, another thing with this vintage air, they went ahead and put four ductworks in here, which is really great. So on a, you know, you can have the top down and still be feeling that air conditioning. Uh, gas gauge works. It's got a Ford uh, tachometer over here. So, really cool car. Yes, it is. Yeah, this ain't uh, your grandma's uh, six-cylinder Mustang. Not anymore. Kind of 
dial it in a little more. And, and again, we're after we drive it a few miles and it warms up a little bit too. Yeah. yeah. Suspension feels good. Four wheel disc brakes are awfully nice to have. Suspension's really good. The steering's really nice on it. Goes down the road good. That all the, the hard, real expensive work you know is done on this thing. You know, motor, transmission, exhaust, rear That's end. I said. No, it's brakes. just cosmetic. Yeah. You know. Yep. And you got a great body that you can to work with. The interiors on Mustangs are so cheap. I mean, a lot of it's nice, but I mean, if you really want to spruce it up, like a few of these pieces are thirty bucks here, hundred bucks for the carpet. Yeah. Seat covers are like two hundred thirty bucks. So. We've had quite a few uh, mm -hmm. cars in here with those blueprint engines. They do good work. Yeah, they really do. They good warranty.